All right, what's up guys? So I've got a lot of comments saying, Captain Charlie says that, hey mate, can you please make a video on how to meditate? I'm really having trouble with that right now. A couple of people upvoted it, so here we go. Here's how to meditate specifically for the wild technique, wake induced lucid dreaming, but also how to meditate in terms of how to actually use meditation to help you lucid dream. So before we start, let's just preface this by saying, by meditating every day, okay, by doing this stuff day in, day out for five to 10 minutes a day, you will naturally have more lucid dreams anyway. It's not really a technique, it's just sort of a side effect of the meditation. When you do this stuff, when you meditate every day, you will have more lucid dreams. Whether that's through techniques, whether that's spontaneous lucid dreams, whether that's the reality checks working better, whatever the case is, by meditating you will have more. So it doesn't really need to be like a certain technique for meditation in order to lucid dream. It just needs to be that you understand by meditating you improve everything else you're doing. So you make your techniques more likely to work, you make your reality checks more likely to show up in your dreams, you make your dream recall more effective, and so on. So don't think of this as a meditation for lucid dreaming technique. Think of it just as how to meditate, and then you can apply this and lucid dream as a result because you're gonna have more anyway. That being said, there are some things you can add into this to make it more lucid dreaming friendly. So let's just start with the absolute basics of meditation. What you want to do is just sit in a chair or lay down. Ideally, you want to sit up so that you're not going to fall asleep, okay? You want to sit in the chair, relax all of your muscles. You hold a lot of tension in your shoulders, in your jaw, and in your arms, okay? So just completely relax. Make sure that you spend a good, a good 30 seconds on making sure your muscles are not tense at all. And then you want to close your eyes. So you just want to close your eyes, relax all your muscles, and then you're going to count your breaths from one to 10. So you would count one with the in-breath, and then two with the out breath. Now, the important thing here is not to focus on how fast you're breathing, because then you're gonna force yourself to breathe slower or faster than you normally would, and it's gonna be awkward, you're gonna sort of choke yourself up. As Alan Watts said, you can never really force yourself to breathe, you just have to sort of let yourself breathe. It's a very subconscious process. So don't focus on trying to breathe in a certain way, just focus on counting when you do breathe. So count one with the in breath, two with the out breath, three with the in, four with the out all the way up until 10. And when you get to 10, go back to the start again, start with one, and then two, and so on. So you're only counting at any one time from one to 10. Now, it doesn't matter how long it takes, it doesn't matter how long you take to breathe up to 10 counts, it doesn't really matter how long any of this takes. All that matters is that you're always gonna divert your attention back to the counting of the breathing. Now, what will happen is a few things will happen here. Firstly, you will notice that you'll find it very hard to stay focused on the breathing. You'll think about all sorts of other things, like, am I doing this right? How will this help me lucid dream? How long has the timer been going? How long do I need to do this for? How, what is this supposed to feel like? Am I doing it in the right way? What am I gonna have for lunch today? All of these questions, right? You need to try and ignore those questions as much as possible. Anytime you realize you're having these thoughts in your mind, these sort of, this sort of dialogue internally, divert your attention back to the breathing and just start from there again. It's gonna be difficult and at the start it's gonna feel uncomfortable. It's gonna feel weird, but that's completely normal, okay? Because as a beginner, you know, when any, I think when anyone starts meditating, it feels weird and uncomfortable to begin with. But then after a few sessions, you will feel better, okay? If you don't believe me, don't take my word for it. Just try it for a couple of weeks. Do meditation every day, and then get past the awkward stage at the beginning where it's uncomfortable because you don't know how to do it properly. And then just see how you feel. After you've meditated, after you've done that technique, by the way, that is the whole technique. Just do that for 10 minutes. Set an alarm on your phone, do that for 10 minutes. After you've done that, you will feel better. And if you don't, then you're either you've just started and so it's still uncomfortable, or you're not really paying attention to how you feel inside because it does make you feel better. Okay, it makes you feel calm, bliss, happy. Like it makes you feel serene and just completely relaxed. Anything that you would have been stressed about will just sort of dissolve and fade away. And it, it makes you feel good. If it didn't, no one would do it, right? Why would you just sit there doing nothing unless it had some sort of effect or benefit? It has to do something for you, otherwise nobody would do it. Much less do it every single day, right? I mean, there are some people that meditate for hours a day. You know, you may have heard of Tibetan monks and people that dedicate their life to meditation simply because they like how it feels. I wouldn't go that far. I wouldn't say meditate for hours a day simply because I have other things to do and it's, you know, sitting for hours on end isn't really fun, is it? 
But doing it for a certain amount of time is beneficial, massively beneficial, especially 10 to 20 minutes a day. It's gonna have a huge impact on your life. It's gonna make everything else easier. So regarding lucid dreaming specifically, okay, by doing that every day, you're gonna increase your self-awareness. That's gonna mean that your reality checks are more likely to show up in your dreams. It's gonna mean when they do show up, you're gonna be more instantly awake and aware. And it's gonna mean that when you're lucid, you're gonna stay lucid for longer because you have that ability to focus on something. You have that ability to stay concentrating on one particular thing, in this case, staying lucid. And that's gonna just make lucid dreaming easier. So that's all I want you to try for now. Obviously, if there's more interest in this, I'll make another video, but for now, just try that technique every single morning and let me know how you get on. Leave a comment if you don't understand anything and I'll try and make another video to explain maybe what you didn't understand, but that's all you need to do for now. Thanks for watching, make sure to subscribe. Check out my other channel, Transcend Your Limits, because I'm doing daily vlogs and I'll see you next time, done.